Muy buenos días, muy buenas tardes, espero que estéis todos muy pero que muy bien, bienvenidos un día más a mi canal, bienvenidos a Red Dead Redemption. Estamos aquí en el norte del mapa, tenemos dos posibilidades, ir a ver a... ¿Cómo se llama? Sadi. O la otra opción es ir a ver a... One moment, creo que Sadi está más cerca. Eh, Capitán Monroe. Capitán Monroe. Vamos a tirar por la opción del Capitán Monroe. Eso sí, vamos a marcar un poco para saber cómo llegar. Cómo llegar hasta ahí. Vale, no hemos marcado correctamente. Bien, bien, bien. Buen chico. Just one second, vale, mejor seguir por el camino. Captain Monroe. Of course. Chief's going out trying to find medications. It's quite a business. Yes. Thought we were through with all this. 
Well, we are, mostly. Colonel Favors seems to think the natives have broken some promise they never made, and apparently he's punishing them by withholding vaccines sent down by the federal government. Really? I was supposed to oversee the administration of vaccines. Now I hear the wagon's been diverted. Why would he do such a thing? Uh, to be honest, I truly don't know. They say he didn't have a very good war, so maybe he's trying to start another one. Is that what you think? I'm trying to find out, and he knows I'm trying to find out. He'd love to provoke me almost as much as he'd love to provoke these poor bastards. Meaning? Meaning that despite the fact that I think he's a horse's ass, he knows I think that. So we're just stuck here trying to make the best of things. This is the best of things. Children dying of diseases. No. This is awful. Where is this wagon? Where can we find it? I can show you. It's supposed to be heading to a pediatric coming up through Valentine, but it's been diverted south instead. Come on, Captain Monroe. Uh, Mr. Morgan, we must act with due caution. Oh, we shall. We surely shall. Now come. Okay. I think I know a spot where we should be able to intercept it. Lead the way, Captain. So, this Colonel Faber, he knows you're up here helping these people? Yes, and no. He knows I'm here to produce a report on the situation. I was sent down from the north after all the news of unrest in the region. But I think my presence might be making things worse. What do you mean? I worry he's taking some of these actions more... Un segundito para quitar eso del mapa, ya está. Now. He can incite more retaliation, maybe he can prove a stronger defense. Well, like destroying that shrine. Yes, and taking their horses. I mean, I don't know if he personally sanctioned any of this or not. This is the other problem. There's a culture now in his regiment. Rot has traveled down the trunk. Okay. Well, just show me where to find this wagon and I'll get the medicine for you. You don't need to be involved. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. But I must ask you, please be discreet. We cannot afford more conflict. Especially with Eagle Flies now in prison at Fort Wallace. I'm still hoping a meeting can be arranged between Rain's Fall and Colonel Favors. I understand. So I should drop the wagon back at the reservation? Oh, no. No, no, no. You only need to commandeer the back seat. Stealing those and an army wagon will only make matters much worse. Okay. You know, Favors has many flaws, but I don't believe he's callous. More an insecure man at the end of his career trying to cling on to something that's already gone. He fought for the Union in the war, and his record was considered far from illustrious. A failed man is often the most dangerous. All right, this is the spot I was thinking of. Let's cut up this way. Sure. There's a nice vantage point up at the top here. Oof! Okay, let's dismount here. Best leave the horses back a bit. We'll have a good view over the road from this ledge. The wagon should come along this way. Okay. You're a good man, Mr. Morgan, but I fear this task to be a fool's errand. Well, firstly, I'm a long way from a good man. Secondly, fool's errands are my favorite kind of work. Fair enough. In that case, I can see we shall be great friends. <laughs> May I ask you a question? Of course. Why don't you just tell all the folk up in Washington what kind of an idiot Colonel Favors is and save us all a lot of bother? <laughs> uh, unfortunately, the government doesn't work quite like that. If you say so. There. I think that's the wagon. All right. Get yourself out of here. Just remember to keep it clean, understand me? Don't worry, I'm as clean as they come. Now all I do is clean. Well, good luck. I'll meet you back at the reservation. Try not to get yourself killed, Mr. Morgan. No, well, now I, I can't promise.
some energy at last. Captain Monroe, I got the medicine. Oh, wonderful. That's great news, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, well, don't worry. It, uh, it didn't go too bad. Oh, I'll take your word for that. We could both swing for this. <coughs> yeah, well, I think I'm a little past caring about hanging, Monroe. Maybe. I just hope Colonel Favors thinks he was robbed by bandits and not... Oh, no, I'm still a bandit. There ain't no doubt about that. Of course. Well, I better get to work. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Bandit or not, this was a good thing. Maybe it'll get us both killed, but it had to be done. I hope so. Venga, vamos a largarnos de aquí. Cogemos velocidad. Vamos, caballito. Un segundito. Ahí ya hemos acabado. Tenemos que ir para acá. Vale, qué susto, creía que era la luz del tren o algo. Hay que salir de aquí, así que no pares, chico. Can. Oh, thank you. 
Thank oh, you, you saved sure. me. Oh, that was okay. bad. Okay. Uh, sure. I could have been stuck here and starved or eaten. Oh, you poor, dumb animal. Oh. What'll I tell Mildred? <sighs> well. You need a ride home, ma'am? Oh. Oh, yes, mister, please. Thank you. I live over in Annisburg. No problem. travel this far alone, you know. You must stop this. Oh, God! Can't this wait? I need to get home. Why'd you stop? Get easy. I was off inquiring about a possible new line of work. I, I borrowed a friend's horse for the trip. See, my husband... Well, it's just me and my boy now, and it's hard to find work. Mm, I'm sure it is. A good opportunity. That's what I'm looking for. Not much work for a woman with a boy to raise. I won't work in no saloon, but I've got sharp eyes and quick hands. I was hoping to get a job working as a seamstress. A wealthy man said he'd pay me for the work. Sounds promising. Also doesn't sound real. Oh, you may be right, I suppose. He said he'd provide room and board for me and for my child. He wanted to meet me first. I'd be careful with offers like that, ma'am. I can't afford to dismiss offers like these, even if they do seem... odd. Well, just be careful is all I'm saying. Lord! What do you think you're I may doing? not have another opportunity like this. <laughs> Pues hemos intentado ser un buen hombre y no ha podido ser. Sube, 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 voy.
What's wrong with you, Arthur? How you mean? <laughs> causing all this trouble just when we need to be united. I ain't causing no trouble. <coughs> I just ain't standing for any more lies. Your ain't loyalty mean nothing to you? I ain't dying for whatever nonsense Micah and Dutch have concocted. And, well, I don't matter much anymore, but I ain't letting the women here die for that neither. Josiah? I, um, I was, uh... Leaving again? Yes, just leaving. I'll see you soon. <coughs> Perhaps. <coughs> uh, what do you mean? Well, if I was you, I'd disappear too. This is all pretty much over. I'll be back. No, you won't. Let's not pretend no more. Get out of here. I'll miss you, Arthur. You've been a fine friend to me. No, no let's not get over sentimental. Well, oh, the place is quiet. Get out of here. You go with my blessing. Thank you, Arthur. Hasta luego, Lucas. Dejamos el capítulo por aquí.